Hi, Rodney from Fine Edge Beauty and Barber Supply. We've had three break-ins in a year and a half between our two locations. We, our most recent break-in was here at our downtown location a couple nights ago. We posted the video of the break-in on Instagram and on Facebook and we had so much positive reinforcing good wishes from everybody that's following us out there and thank you very much for all that and it made us think that maybe we should do a quick video of how to reinforce your business so you're not so likely to get broken into because we're starting to think ourselves as experts in that particular field after three break-ins in a year and a half. The first thing I'd like to mention though is a lot of people are hoping that these guys get caught and for sure I hope these guys get caught as well but I don't know if that's gonna really solve anything if these guys get caught they're likely not gonna get charged they might get charged but nothing's really gonna come of it they're likely not gonna do any time if they have a long rap sheet lots of priors then maybe they're gonna do a little bit of time but that time is just them hanging out with their buddies in jail, maybe learning more techniques on how to have a more effective break-in the next time around. So really, we feel as though probably the best method of solving this break-in epidemic that is occurring not just here in Vancouver, but all over the world is number one, fortification, fortify your business so that it's really hard for them to break in. Number two, maybe this should be number one. Actually, maybe we should change that. Number one, don't buy stolen goods. If there's no market for this stuff, there's no reason for them to sell it. So if you hear some guy bragging, some girl bragging about the great deal they got on an item that fell off the back of a truck, turn around and walk away. Don't even give them the, the respect of, or tell them that that's garbage. Don't buy stolen goods. It's just you're feeding into what is an epidemic and we shouldn't have to deal with this anymore. So fortification is something we're gonna go over and at our Surrey location, we had a lock that we thought was perfectly safe but it turned out that it wasn't a countersunk lock. So the criminals very easily bent up the edge of the lock and just unthreaded it from inside the mechanism. So it made it really easy for them to just use a screwdriver to open the door. So we didn't realize how vulnerable we were. So now we've had installed a countersunk lock. So there's no way for them to bend up the lock itself and unthread it from the assembly. So make sure that you've got a countersunk lock so that they're not gonna be able to take that out. And then secondly, at our downtown location, they were able to simply slide a pry bar in between the door frame and the door and they bent the door so that the locks just popped out. It was super easy. Uh, we've got a video of them very quickly and easily popping the door open. So we've had the locksmiths come in and install a plate, an interlocking plate that is on both sides of the door, also on the door and also on the door frame so that they slide in together. And that prevents them being able to slide a some kind of pry bar between the door frame and the door to pop it open. So lock your joint down. Get countersunk locks, get metal plates around your door and door frame so that there's no way they can slide any kind of bar, any kind of pry bar, any kind of crowbar in there to pop your door open. Some doors will actually have hinges on the outside of the door as well. Beware of outside door hinges. If they're able to pop the pins out of those hinges or if they come by with an angle grinder and they just grind those off, 
then they'll open your door from the other side. We always focus on the locked side, but keep in mind the other side where the hinges are. If your hinges are on the outside of your door, that's a vulnerability as well. So keep your eye open for that. Lock your place down. Don't buy stolen goods. Thank you.